Ahmed Fan could return to power in 2023 under the ruling of Progressive Congress is gaining momentum. Some former presidential aspirants are calling on the former president to shun any call for him to contest. The former presidential aspirant said that such calls for President Jonathan to the clear are deceitful and warning that Jonathan should not answer any call for him to return to the seat of power. Every mistake is costly. Every mistake. If you if you if he knows the right thing and he accepts to be misled, then it will be costly for him because maybe he wastes his money. And the Nigerians will not vote him and if they do, he will be sworn because you can only be sworn to be a president. And some of us will go to court to, to argue that uh, that should be. Understand there are men and women, competent men and women you know, here as Nigerians that can run this country effectively, mostly from the southeast. Give them the opportunity. They've seen their antecedents all over Nigeria, how they were able to develop Nigeria. Everywhere you go. My advice is for him to play, uh, they say, he play a fool by choice, isn't it? Ask them to come and let them bring the ticket to him. No, let them go to their conventions, their primaries, and whatever, and then convince their delegates to elect the president. You should allow yourself to be rubbish because they will take you to that you know, arena and destroy whatever credibility that he has. The former presidential aspirants are also calling on the All Progressives Congress, APC, and the People's Democratic Party, PDP, to consider the South East for president in 2023. The All Progressives Congress, presidential aspirants, and Minister of Transportation, Rutimi Amici, says routine engagement with citizens remains a major strategy in running an all-inclusive and result-oriented government, a system he says he has successfully deployed in the past. Amechi made this remark.